today I'm going to show you something in CapCut that is new to me. It is called Smart Edit. So here I have my iPhone app open, the CapCut app, and I am using the CapCut Pro program. However, this feature looks like it does not need Pro because it does not say Pro in the square. So you can see here I'm on my home page and on the very top here, there's something called Smart Edit. This is something that's going to be using AI to edit our materials. So let's go ahead and click Smart Edit. And the first time you enter this, it is going to give you a disclaimer that this is using AI. And you can choose one of these templates below or create a new project. I'm going to click Create New Project. Hi there, to generate video images or scripts, send what you want them to look like or say. You can also check out the examples in the showcase for inspiration. Okay, so what I wanna do in my demo here is to create a video of a little kid playing with their dog. Let's see what it does. It's thinking, coming up with something fun for me, hopefully. What's it gonna do? Oh, okay. Check out the video now. Let's see, a little kid playing with their dog. A little kid playing with their dog. A little kid playing with their dog. A little kid okay, playing so with their dog. A little kid playing with their requests. dog. I can go back to the screen here and revise it or try something else. I want to edit it. Okay, you can send me the media you want to use instead or replace it yourself. I'm gonna add media. Random picture here, I have no idea what it's gonna do. Okay, that makes no sense, <laughs> but cool. That's cool that they can take your own media and change it out, or you can use their AI generator. I wanna try this one more time. A little kid playing with their dog. Let's see what it comes up with the second time. Okay, it looks like some type of tree. Let's see what it did. 1 trillion 711 billion 301 million 780,000 to 190 oh, underscore know. underscore. Absolutely did not make sense there. So I have no clue what that is doing. I think this tool is pretty cool, but it might need a lot of um, work. The first one made a lot of sense. Maybe it was because I just continued on. I wonder if I were to go out and come back in, if it would make more sense. Let me try that. Let me go back, create a new project, and let's try this again. A video of a little kid playing with their dog. Let's try it now. Hopefully it will come up, up with something a little bit more in line with my sentence than that last random tree. Oh cool, there it is. So it looks like a little kid playing with their dog. So if you ever wanted to if you have a video and you just need something, some other visual to show within your video, you could easily just come here and have AI do it for you. How cool. Let's see what it does. A video of a little kid playing with their dog. A video of a Perfect. little kid playing with their Now if I click open editor, let's see what it does. Okay, so it takes you into this editor and you can replace and edit the text. 
Okay, so you can't just do it yourself. It has to do it for you. I want to just remove all the text. Oh, it just kicked me out. Great. Did it save my work? Let's see. Yes, it did. Huh. I wonder if it's going to kick me out again. If so, this feature needs a lot of work. Open the editor again. Remove text. You can't change the text. Well, that's kind of weird. You have to leave it in here. You need at least one text. Wow, okay, that's strange. I'm gonna just click accept and it kicked me out again. Okay, CapCut, this is seems to be broken. Well, you guys, this is kind of a learning tutorial today. This is the first time I've used this feature and I don't think I'm gonna be back to use it again until CapCut can make some pretty hefty changes on the Smart Edit feature. Thanks for watching. Hopefully next time I come back, this feature will be more advanced and we can do it again.